What's up stream geeks? Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to control OBS with your voice. Camera two. Camera one. You can send voice commands to OBS using a free software called Voice Macro. It's currently only available for Windows, so don't get mad at me, my friends who use Mac computers. So we're, this is going to be a Windows only tutorial for OBS users. We're going to show you how to use your voice commands from any microphone in Windows to control OBS and control some PTZ cameras. So let's get into it. All right. So in order to set up voice control of Open Broadcaster software, we're going to start by downloading Voice Macro. This is a free software available for Windows only at this point and we can go ahead and download that software. Additionally, we will also need a free command line tool for OBS WebSocket plugin. And we're gonna download both of those plugins in order to gain audio control of OBS. Now you'll notice in OBS command that you get one folder, which includes an exe file we'll need to send commands directly to OBS. And you'll also get the OBS WebSockets plugin if you do not already have it. So once you have Voice Macro, it shows up as a little window inside of OBS. And I want to show you how this works before we get into sending commands to OBS. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click the Edit button in the top left. And what you're going to want to do is add a profile. The existing profile that comes by default has got a lot of cool uh, things that you can learn how to use for controlling your computer in general. But what I recommend is going ahead and clicking Add New and adding a completely new profile just for OBS controls. Now you see I've already got an OBS profile here I'm going to use for our demo. And as you create a profile, it basically limits the amount of commands that are available inside of that profile. So, you know, it reduces the amount of potential errors that the voice controls could have. Now, once you have Voice Macro 1.4 installed on your computer, it should be recognizing everything you say in this bottom space here on the bottom of your computer. So what I'm, if, if there's nothing uh, being, if it's, if it's recognizing your voice properly, you're good to go and you can keep continuing forward. But if it's not, you want to hit this little hamburger icon in the top right of voice macro 1.4 and check out your speak recognition engine settings. And you want to take a look at the audio input. This is the microphone that Windows is going to use to you know, pick up your voice. And so you can see here, you check the default device. You want to make sure that is, that is receiving a good audio level from your microphone so that you can use that for picking up audio and making voice commands inside of OBS. Okay. So now let's take a look at our profile. Once the profile is set up, you're going to want to set, you want to set up a macro. So we're going to hit add new macro. And each macro has its own voice command. So whatever you type into this voice command box is going to be the word or phrase that you're going to use to initiate an action. So I'm just going to type camera three and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add an action. Now in our case, since we want to send a command to OBS, we're actually going to click execute and open a file. And we're going to choose the OBS command.exe application that we downloaded earlier. This basically will send whatever command and argument that we send over directly into OBS. And you can see here that what's going to, what you're going to want is OBS command.exe space slash one of the opportunities, one of the available arguments that work in OBS. Now I'm going to paste a blog post with this video that's going to include a variety of example commands that you can send. For example, if you want to switch the, the scene, you would click scene equals cam three. 
it's pretty straightforward, but I just want to make sure you, know, you guys have all the resources in our blog post to follow along if you want to see the list of example commands. And then something that I learned in Windows style, we want that to be hidden because we don't want the window to pop up. Just keep it totally hidden and click OK. So what we've done here is we've added a macro with a voice command. So when I say camera 3, I have now told OBS through this that I want to switch to cam 3, the actual scene that is called cam 3. And I, want the, I don't want any window to show up, so the window is hidden. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and click OK. And one of the things I like to do is keep my eye on this recognizer engine down here. So I'm going to say camera 3. Camera 3. Camera 3. Camera 3. Camera 2. All right, so you can see it went to camera two. Camera one. Ah, it went back to camera one. Camera two. Boom, we've got the camera moving from camera one to camera two via voice commands inside of OBS. Pretty cool. So how do we get the cameras to move? Well, back inside of OBS, I have a camera here that also includes an HTTP command for moving a PTZ Optics camera. So we're doing a lot of uh, technical stuff here in OBS, but basically I have a PTZ Optics camera with an IP address here, and I'm using the HTTP command to call preset 1. So this is an web browser input that's set up to refresh the browser when it becomes active and it's not in the scene it's totally invisible but as I switch from cam 1 to cam 2 to cam 3 these PTZ camera presets are going to they're like attached to the scene and they call that scene on a PTZ camera so now we're able to use voice commands such as camera 1 to not only switch the scene that we have in OBS, but also to call a PTZ camera preset. So that's it. Voice commands can really be a powerful tool. You can use it for more than just operating PTZ cameras. You can switch scenes, hide sources. I've got a whole list of commands that you can use and arguments in OBS. So take a look at this on our blog post at streamgeeks.us. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment below if there's a cool way that you could see using voice commands to control OBS.